All right, everyone, welcome back. And today we're not going to be doing a basic how to restore a handsaw or how to file or even set because those are really basic. Today we're going to be transforming a saw that has only half its teeth into a saw that has all of its teeth. Now, that's not a simple task. So in the next few videos of this series, I'll show you how to do it. And this will be the first time for me too, so it's not going to be titled How To. Now, some of you might be asking, why is this going to be a difficult restoration? Well, the answer is, I'm going to have to joint the teeth all the way down, so it'll actually look like the spine, where there's not even a hint of where the teeth are. So we're going to have to look at it's a Henry Disson D8. You guys can't see it in the video right now, but this one, so they are normally eight points per inch if they're a cross cut and a five and a half points per inch if they're ripping. So we're gonna have to make it an eight points per inch because it's cross cut tight. And another reason why we have to go all the way down is because the golds are about five points per inch right now, which is not how they're supposed to be because whoever sharpened them last did a really bad job and you guys can look right here at the teeth and let's see if you guys can see it right there how the teeth are all different sizes that's not what we want they're all broken chipped golds are different teeth are different size so we're just going to restart and It'll be a brand new saw once that happens. There's a lot of steel left on the saw, so it's not going to impact it. But it's a 1940s saw. Handle's looking good. Just one missing screw. And let's get started. All right, so to do this, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a full-size board because the vise I have isn't long enough for this 26 inch saw to be doing a lot of file work. So we're gonna be clamping it in here, but before I do it, I'm gonna take the handle off. So I'll be back with you guys in just a second. All right, so I've got the saw chucked up in the vise, and if you guys can see the flexing of both sides, what we're going to be doing is I'm just gonna drop a clamp down on both sides just to minimize the bow because we don't want any bow while we're doing this so I'm just going to push it in tight and clamp it down all right so now that we've got it clamped in the vise what we're going to be doing is taking this giant file and we're going to joint the top of the saw while keeping the file flat
All right, so if you guys look at this, the entire saw has no teeth and it is flat. All right, so to finish off the jointing, I'm just gonna come with a joiner with a really long file on it, make it like a long joiner. And I'm just gonna file the top of the saw, oh, the bottom of the saw, actually. So we're just making sure the saw is straight all the way down the saw. Alright, so it's not slipping anymore, so it is going to be flat, and I'll check it with a straight edge to make sure, but I'll do that by myself. Alright, so guys, this isn't a basic restoration, and I have actually, I haven't found any videos on the internet on how to do this, so I'm doing this all by myself. But if you guys have found anything, make sure to comment the link below, and in the next video I'll put a link to it so everyone else can see it but if you know someone that is interested in saws and does a lot of saw restorations be sure be sure to share this because even if I mess up I'll post the entire series and I'll let you guys take a look and learn from whatever I mess up on if I do so see you guys in the next video